I've been worried about saying stuff that's inappropriate. See. <laughs> you can edit it out. I don't know. Yeah. You Welcome can... back to another episode of Natives React. We have some special guests with us today. I am Jordan. I'm Navajo. I'm Alan Groves, and I am Northern Ute and Hopi, and I'm a beadwork and quillwork artist. Turtle Island Art Collective is a group of artists who've come together to try and increase the exposure of indigenous arts in the digital world. In inviting you guys on as a guest, I knew that I wanted the topic to be Native families, since you both uh, have families children of your own and we're gonna do a mini section on res ball but we'll go ahead and hop into a few other videos but yeah here we go we got our first video indigenous fishing wait you out here that's what he said <laughs> doing the fish then gotta be a traditional dance though right Dude, if on. i did that i'd bust through the ice though <laughs> 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 Doing the fish then. How about wizard strikes again, huh? Indeed. <laughs> you oh. <laughs> works. Okay, let's check out our next video. What I think I sound like on the radio. Forecast for today: snow with a high near 28 Fahrenheit. Total day. To it's gonna be really snowing out there today. It's gonna be cold too. And now be careful when you're on the way to the bingo. I love how he's unfazed. He's unfazed. <laughs> yeah, he's unfazed yeah. like this every day. Be careful when you're on the way to the bingo. If you're bingo today, you gotta. Ooh. The bingo today? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the weather. I don't know when bingo started though. <laughs> okay, then let's check out our next video. When uncles tried to race. <laughs> he jumped up like a champ though. Look yeah, blocks it off. That's right. <laughs> Worst stuff has happened to him in his life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can go ahead and move on to the main topic of the episode. Native families. And I know that these will relate to you guys as well. Let's just hop into our first one. Happy birthday. <laughs> Nothing happened to the cake. You yeah. know, that cake's been sitting at the grocery store for five oh weeks, right? Because it didn't even dent the cake. Crusty cake? <laughs> oh. That's the discount cake, brother. That's right, that's right. You can even hear him at the very beginning. He's Don't throw my head at you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw my head at you. He knows it's coming. I like how Grandma just posted up there just with the bingo card. Is that right? the bingo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Playing bingo after she heard it was announced on the radio. When you're on the way to the bingo. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I got low too. <laughs> Look, yeah. Grandma's checking out the cake. She's like, don't mess that cake up. <laughs> Native oh, tattoo that, right yeah. there. War paint, ready to dance. <laughs> okay, then we got our next video. When your kids want brand name cereal. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> How would they know? Uh, in my house, that was powdered milk. I think my mom had the same jug wow. for a year. That had the same thing <laughs> on it. And would she pre mix it. Yeah, she'd mix morning. it up in the morning and put it in the fridge. The date was like two months ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never had real cereal growing up. My parents didn't even hide it, they just brought the bag out. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bust out the Western family bag. We're not even gonna try. Yeah. Yeah. Real dating families <laughs> don't need to trick their kids. That's yeah, right. They... <laughs> okay, let's hop to our next video, which is just a proud dad moment. More of a wholesome moment. You guys want to see a proud dad moment? Check it out. What you doing? What kind of hide is that? Elk hide. Is this how you guys feel? I'm, I'm sure. My daughter played basketball this year mm. and I uh, went to watch her first game and she tucked her braids into her jersey. Oh. <laughs> and, and that was like when I was sitting in the crowd, I was like, okay, now she's truly native <laughs> now. It was one of those moments. Let's just go ahead and hop into the next video. Growing up in a res house, you always have hella random kids. And I mean, you literally have hella random kids all over the place sleeping. <laughs> you got your kids, their friends, their cousins. Their friends' cousins. Their friends' cousins. <laughs> kid who was too late to walk home, so you're like, yeah, just sleep on the porch. Yep. And then you got that classic kid in the back that doesn't have the blanket, you know? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, no more blankets. No you just you can stay, arms. but we got no blankets. <laughs> That's when you tuck your arms in your shirt. Oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the next video. Hey, Danielle, the kids didn't eat their waffles. That's fine. Just, just throw them out. Go on, get, get out of here. 
Hey. <laughs> Initially saw this, I was like, oh man, classic dad joke. Um, it's, not, it's not a joke. Do you, do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is real. This, this is real is life, like... man. Documentary. Gets you through the day. Dad jokes. Dad, dad jokes. Get dad jokes. Get you through the day. Okay, guys. We're going to hop into a mini section. Res ball. More specifically, because I know this relates to both you guys. Al, you are a basketball coach, right? Yeah, I'm a high school basketball coach. Uh, right. For how many years have you? I've been coaching basketball for 20 years. 20? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in my share, my fair share of res tournaments, you know, traveling around. And uh, Jordan, I know that you watch basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, just kidding. Oh, I, I don't. Baller. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I thought I would definitely include uh, this little section here. I do plan to do a whole episode on res balls. But yeah, let, let's hop into this first one. What a native athlete doesn't show you. Every morning I get up before the sun comes up. And I get up and go run. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. All right, and head back to sleep. <laughs> Every morning I have a big bag of broccoli and some asparagus for breakfast. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> some peach edge. Every night before bed, I like to stretch 30 to 45 minutes to get the body loose. You done? Got it. Done. Oh, that's as far as I can go. <laughs> okay, we know it's not a native athlete if they're eating asparagus, right? Yeah, that, yeah. That's not a native food. I don't know that, uh, <laughs> the day old pizza, that's the breakfast of champions. Uh, that's the... <laughs> they had a res ball documentary not too long ago. Mm. And this is what I imagine it being. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm head back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut. All right, go All back right, to what you right, normally <laughs> Okay, then let's check out our next video. We're going to check out the guy on the left, his defense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently this is called res ball with the cousins when they don't pass to you. <laughs> I mean, well, as a basketball coach, how was his form? Uh, it's it's solid. It's solid. You know, energetic. I'd yeah, give him an A right there. Hands up. <laughs> and then you know that car back there is just for nighttime ball. So they hey, oh. put, put the lights on so you can keep though, playing yeah. at night. You gotta settle a score with your brother. Your dad's like, go oh, turn the lights on the car and settle it on the court. <laughs> okay, and then we got our next video. And again, rate this play. Just Find the head pass. Ooh. All right, what are we rating it? Oh, that's an 11 out of 10 right there. Oh. 11 eagle feathers out of 10. <laughs> <No. This is laughs> a... 11 war cries. <laughs> 11, 11, <laughs> 11 drum beats. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, let's check out our final video from the uncle who says that he could have gone to state. <laughs> it's on the lowest setting too. <laughs> it is on the lowest, on the lowest yeah. setting. Uh, <laughs> did he even jump? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. oh there you go. Oh, there there you sure. How much air is he getting? It's a good four, four inches. Four inches. <laughs> yeah. Good can of spam height. Yeah. <laughs> one, one can of spam. That's two. That's that. That's a can and then the little half of can of spam. Mm. Still no one's phase. I like how no one's phase anymore. Yeah, no. yeah, he's done this before. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Jim's at it again. He's right. talking about state again. <laughs> <laughs> Where I went. I'll prove it to you. Mm. <laughs> and then you got the little kid running at the end. Is he running to help? Worry about the rim. Uh, <laughs> his whole summer is shot. Shot. You can't let it fall down like, too many you times. Do? Yeah. I you not to do that again. And then we got the final one. I guess this would apply to that uncle. Stop telling your kids you almost won state. <laughs> so. Yeah, you didn't even play. <laughs> As an older person now, like, who's telling stories, what are you going to tell your kids? They'll never know. They might as well. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, maybe you can tell them. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I had the privilege of growing up in the non-internet era, yeah. so the, how, how are they going to check it they out? They can't Google it. That's right. There's no <laughs> video of that. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> so I did win stage. Yes, there we go. <laughs> okay, guys, now we can move on to the final section of our video. Natives doing cool for unique things. And with this month being March, it is actually Women's History Month. A few weeks ago, we actually had International Women's Day, and so I wanted a story that would relate to that. The Ignacio High School girls basketball team did a photo shoot to honor the MMIW movement. Red hand on their face. But also with taking this picture, they actually had a game. And with the tickets and concession sales, they donated it all to Voices of Our Sisters, a grassroots organization that is bringing awareness to education through artistic movement. The head coach of the team, Just DeWitt, said that's the main thing, to make sure all these young girls are aware that this stuff is going on. They need to be aware of their surroundings, who they are with, 
with and who they may put themselves in company with, whether that may be good or bad. And I thought it was neat because they related it to this artistic movement. A lot of our indigenous people are bringing awareness to our different native issues with the arts, whether it be paintings or different photographs as well, or I mean, even beadwork doesn't stop from there. What I think is awesome is this idea of bringing your indigenous persona into what is traditionally non-indigenous spaces. And I think that's such an important part of moving forward. And then also related to the art movement, the reason I brought our guests on today is to help them share this organization that they've been working on, the Turtle Island Art Collective. We started this art collective and we have a couple of purposes. You know, one is to increase the exposure of indigenous art in a digital world. And number two was trying to connect with youth. You know, so many of our indigenous youth connect with art in the digital format now, as opposed to like going live and going to a museum or something like that. And we wanted to provide a space we could connect artists with youth in an effort to really empower them in who they are. Yeah, be sure to follow us on our Instagram and Facebook pages. This summer, we're gonna have our indigenous youth workshops. We'll reach out to the youth in our community. Also gonna have some spotlights. We have our feature Fridays that we feature a new indigenous artist every week. Reach out to us and we'd love to uh, support and show your work. Okay, so we wanted to, as natives do, offer a present to you. Oh. And for all of the your original followers who've been following you always since the, the vlog days, oh my God. We, bought, we brought a present for Patrick. Patrick was late one day. Vlog, oh, vlog yeah. eight or nine. Yeah. Patrick was late to one of his performances. Yeah. And he got there and we talked about, you know, his requirements for performing. And one of them was only red M&Ms. Hey. So we brought him a <laughs> giant thing of red M&Ms with our Turtle Island art uh, logo on, on the cup. I'm gonna require this now before every <laughs> that's, episode. That's right, here we yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, and that actually was a MMIW episode as well. Dang. Full wow. circle. I appreciate this. You can put that <laughs> in your drawer with your hot Cheetos. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am working on more episodes, so don't worry. Thank you again, Alan Jordan. Yeah, hope you guys have a good day, and see you guys later. I made it. You running on Patrick's on Yes. Yeah. I was like, just because Pat has a vlog doesn't mean he can be a diva and show up <laughs> Show up like I'm a diva. Allowed, I'm allowed. Do they have all your stuff in the dressing room for you like you requested? Only red M&Ms in there. Some boss water. <laughs>